Good morning! And today is a really cold day. I think winter is, winter is probably starting here in Gothenburg. But, anywho, let's get to it. So, today you and I are going to talk about a few concepts that you may or may not hear that are getting a little bit trendy here in Gothenburg. So, the thing is that there's a saying here in, well, it's not just in Gothenburg, it's like pretty much all in IT, or it's basically, they're embracing this agile thing that's so popular these days. And agile and lean and scrum and like all these basically work principles. And if you haven't worked as a programmer, maybe a little bit of this is, you know, fair, well, most of it is probably fairly new to you. And that's okay. I mean, you're, if you don't know these things, that's perfectly fine. Then this is a video where I'm going to briefly touch on a few of these th concepts anyway, and what they mean and what they're about and so forth. So the idea of agile development and, well, it's actually very tricky to define these things because just like, you know, people getting burned down into the semantics of unit testing. What's a unit test? What's an acceptance test? What's an integration test? Like all these different things. Like there's always somebody who's going to have an opinion on the exact semantics of all of these things, right? So just take what I say with a little bit of pinch of salt and we'll take it from there, right? Okay. So agile or being agile means that basically back in the day, what you used to do when you delivered software was something that's very well holistically called the waterfall method. And basically what happened was that you had technical experts who would sit down with the client and write a specification. So basically what you wanted to do was that you wanted to plan out the entire application ahead of time and then you would simply build the application and take it from there. Very, think of it as the mindset of, hey, we're going to build this skyscraper or this building and let's make the blueprints first. And when we have the blueprints, we can, you know, build the thing. And, you know, that does make it, you know, on paper that makes a lot of sense. And what usually happened then was that, okay, so when the specifications were all, you know, all the checks were, were done and you'd written up the contract and everything been signed and you had a deadline and estimations and all that good stuff, it went to the developers. And then they built it and delivered it. What became a problem was that you realized very quickly, or it took a while, but we realized over time and the industry realized that having this way of working is very ineffective because what happens is that you have all the and this happens for everybody this is the thing that people don't understand with software development it is not like building a building it is much more complicated it is not like building a physical product because the thing with physical products is that you they have a much more narrow scope they have there are so few, you, you underestimate how many small details become important in software development and it becomes even more so like if you, it, it's very difficult for people who don't do this for a living to understand how many small things needs to be accounted for and usually we humans don't like small details like in, if you think about it this way, it's very natural for you to think about your day or your, anything in large terms where you know if I ask you okay how how do you get home at night or after work well what most people will tell me is something like yeah I get into my car and I drive home or I take the bus and I go home and see that's a broad stroke in programming that's a massive broad stroke the broad stroke in explaining and taking accounting for all the small details in programming what quite little of software development you would have to express it as I open the door just so, take my left foot, put it in front of my, my body, and then I take my right foot, put that in front, you know, you see that it's even more fine grain. That's the level of detail it takes to write software. And so you, you've realized it in the waterfall method that it's very rare that you actually get the thing that you're asking for. Quite frankly, it became the almost, um, this thing that people just accepted that you know whenever you do this you're going to 
be the, you're gonna get most of what you want but you know it's gonna be very different from what you originally thought that you were gonna get which and honestly for the most part sometimes it, you know it's still true for software development that's how complicated it gets that's how it used to work today you are leaning more towards like workflows that are so-called agile and the agile mentality is that you get basically the minimum viable thing going and then you iterate over it in cooperation with your clients so basically that means is think of it as trying to build a, a ski resort so the first thing you and your client will sit down and do is that you will have a rough idea of what the roadmap is like because a ski resort is something that build, is built over a very large period of time it's not something that you just like it's not a single unit of something it's uh, like it's there's several aspects to doing something like that so the first thing you may do is that you sit down and say hey the first thing we want to do is to build the ski lifts and so together you sit and build this smaller piece of the entire thing and then you deliver that to the and the client gets to evaluate whether or not this is enough for their business need and if it's not enough then you build the next thing so maybe you started with this with the, the lifts and next you say okay we want to build a restaurant and now we want to build a cabin now we want to build another cabin etc etc so you iterate over and over and over on this large thing and the benefit of this is that the software usually gets more accurate uh, in terms of delivery like what the, you're actually supposed to deliver because the client is always involved and it becomes much easier for at least the developers and like the, the IT company to estimate how long something's going to take because trust me if you've ever tried to estimate how long something takes you'll find that large really large projects takes it's very difficult for you to to kind of foresee how long it's going to take because as i said you always underestimate how long something takes in software development always that's that's almost like a universal rule and so that's where the agile mentality comes from and from the agile mentality people have realized that there the benefit here is that in theory the software quality goes up and it, it is kind of true the downside is from the business perspective and that is that most clients still have a workflow and like it becomes very natural that or rather it becomes this kind of it becomes a very odd situation think about it as uh, you go into the store and you just bought your present and you have a gift wrapper and this guy or girl is basically you know you you just give that person your gift that's how it works today and then they you know you take a smoke or you know go on your phone or something and five minutes later they're done you have your package and you can go for you that's a very nice experience however in the agile mentality you would go up to that person give them that thing and they would have a constant interaction with you they would ask you about everything okay which ribbon do you want which paper do you want like they, how should I fold it should I fold it this way should I fold it that way do you want curly ribbons like you it would you would have to have that interaction and you know maybe in this sort of scenario you might want to have that but think of it as that thing that it's something that requires your attention all the time and for a lot of businesses this is suboptimal because you know when you or especially if you hire a consultancy if you're not an IT company it's much more convenient for you if in theory you could do the waterfall thing where you could just order the exact thing you want have it delivered without any interaction on your side or very little interaction or as much as you want and then get the, the perfect thing unfortunately as as I said then we come back to the first problem that's why it's so difficult to estimate like, to basically deliver software software project larger projects so yeah those are the basics of how you work used to work in IT and how the agile mentality works today